So you want to get into some catering rentals, but you don't want to break the bank with a grill, an oven, a hot box, and other like actual cooking things. Well, let me show you the few things that I started with in the beginning. Uh, when I had a warehouse that didn't even have water at it, I would have to uh, either bring the things home or bring a jug of water down to clean the items. And these are all items that you can begin with and uh, they don't go out like an extremely large amount of, of times, but they are fairly inexpensive relative to the return on investment. So let me show you those real quick. So the first thing is the chafing dishes. When you rent them out, you can tell them that they need to be cleaned before returned, so you don't have to do that much. But even though they will clean it before it's returned, you still may have to clean it a little bit. These particular ones you can get on Amazon or Websterant. I think they're 32 bucks. They are called Winko, W-I-N-C-O. 32 bucks, we rent this out for $15. But you also have to provide the um, little flame things, if they're called. That's what I first started with. Then there's the 100 cup coffee percolator. Uh, you can also just bring this home and clean it. Doesn't require anything special. Uh, the 100 cup, they make them 55 cup, but why, why not just go full 100 cup? Uh, easy to, to clean, easy to use. Uh, no extra filters needed. All the coffee just goes in here. You turn it on with the water in there and it makes 100 cups of coffee. And there's this thing, it's called a samovar or a hot beverage container. It does not make coffee or tea, but you make coffee somewhere and you can put this out on a table and it uses one of those flame sterno things and keeps the beverage hot with no cord going anywhere. So it's kind of like that, but for liquid. Then these things, hot beverage containers. You make the hot beverage, put it in there, it will keep it warm and you can transport it around. This one is not a Cambro. The Cambro ones are very expensive. This one came from Websterrant.com and I don't know the brand. Then there is heat lamps for carving stations or to keep food hot. Fairly inexpensive, uh, easy rental, doesn't require much cleaning. And then there's these fancier ones, uh, chafing dishes. Uh, we didn't get these till recently, but I kind of wish I had them earlier because they do go out a lot more and we charge three times the price for them. And it's just the same thing. Just as easy to clean as that one. So if you're wanting to get into catering, those are kind of some simple items to get that uh, some, and not even just caterers are going to get them. Just regular old parties are going to get them. You're going to get a lot of people getting these, a few people getting these, and uh these beverage things a lot of people will just be getting these and the coffee makers so i would start with the eight quart chafing dishes and 100 cup coffee percolators and uh you know once you start making some money add some more fancier ones and uh your roi which is return on investment will increase uh, these things samovars which is a stupid name are ridiculously expensive we got these used for like 20 bucks a piece, which was a steal. These are stupidly expensive. And I, I'd say the last thing to get would be this, because it's not gonna go out that often. But I mean, if you're sitting around thinking, what should I buy? I got some extra money. Uh, get one of those. And these are all just easy things, easy storage, easy to clean. If you're out of a garage, you're not gonna take up with that much space. These are all just little things that help to the bottom line, add some revenue to some jobs. Uh, say you're doing a 20 by 20 graduation tent. Now you're adding four chafing dishes at $15 a pop and a hundred cup coffee percolator for 10 or 20. You just added another hundred, $120 to your order for not having to do much. And you require that they give them back to you clean. So you're not doing the brunt of the cleaning, but once it comes back, you should still clean it a little bit, make sure it's up to standards. Anyways, those are a few ideas. Thank you for watching.